And the third strategy that I recommend you start using as we go into 2020 is to actually activate your insights inside Facebook stories. So inside Facebook stories, you can now see who's looking at your stories, who's interacting with your stickers, where they're based, how old they are, what gender they are. So it's a really good way of toning your marketing strategy towards your ideal audience. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital strategist who specializes in making your life easier when it comes to Facebook and Instagram stories. Okay, so then what we are going to look at is the third strategy, which is look at who's looking at your stories on Facebook. So we know that over on Instagram stories, we can access our insights quite easily. If you've never found them on Instagram stories, then you go to your home page, let me just take that off again, and you go up to the top where the hamburger menu is, up here, and you click on the insights tab. So we'll all be able to look at our insights inside our Instagram stories. If we go to your Facebook business page, then you can find your insights by going to the following. You have to go back to your Facebook business page. So to find your business page, you go to your pages option and you click the page that you want to go to. Then instead of clicking onto the page at the top, you have to go down, wait for it to load, to where it says insights. There you can click see all. Here it will show you your promotions, your posts, your events, and then it shows you your stories. If you click your C28 day summary, now if you don't see the story insights, you will see a blue button saying turn on story insights. That's what you need to click and allow 24 hours for it to collect your insights and that's what you'll get. When you click on, so what did I do then? I clicked on the C28 day summary. You can then see how many unique openings your stories had, how many people engaged with your stories and how many stories you published. Underneath it, it gives you your audience demographics. So you can see the gender, of those looking at your stories and also the age range of those people looking at your, at your stories. So you can see whether your marketing strategy is targeting your correct audience. So that's a really good insight tab to look at. You can also see, excuse me a minute, I'm gonna have a drink. Whereabouts in the world they are tuning in from. So you've got your towns and cities, and you've also got your countries. So you can see where in the world people are looking at your stories from. You can also see your stories at the bottom. So you can see some of the older stories that you published and who's been looking at them. Now, I would say, I'm just gonna stop my screen share now and just have you up here and I'm gonna look at some of the questions. But I would just say that you have to be consistent with your Facebook business page stories. When you first start out, you're going to feel like they're not being seen by very many people. But what you've got to remember is that your business page stories are going to be shown at the top of everybody's feed the same as a personal story would be. So if you post regularly to your Facebook business page stories, Facebook will pick up on the fact that you are active on your stories and it will start to push your stories in front of other people because Facebook wants to push stories, especially on Facebook. It wants to give priority to people using stories. So you will get the added benefit of being consistent with your Facebook stories. Please, if you have any questions at all about what I've shown you tonight, then please leave them in the comments. I do monitor my YouTube and my Facebook pages very closely. So I will answer you if I'm awake and I'm not doing something else. So thank you all for joining me.